Hi there, dear girls. It's your girl Toya C, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel, Do It In God, where we aspire to live transparently, ultimately for God's glory. So today marks the beginning of a new week, so it's only right that we kick off the week with a little inspiration. Today, I would like us to talk about the importance of function. When we look at the dictionary, function can be described as an activity, purpose, natural to, or intended for a person or a thing. It can also be described as to work or to operate in a proper or particular way. A couple of days ago, I was in my kitchen cutting up some veggies and some fruits to make a juice recipe. For those who follow me, all the time you know that I'm on this new juicing path. And while I was handling my business, I was in a hurry. Reason being, I had my daughter who was in the background screaming at the top of her lungs, right? So I just grabbed the quickest knife that I could to begin the process of cutting my veggies and my fruits. And what I grabbed, unfortunately, was a butter knife. You heard me. Your girl grabbed a butter knife. And trust me, I have a stack of knives available to me. For some odd reason, I just didn't grab any one of them. And because of this, I struggled. My fruits, the ones that were like the citrus fruits, like the lemons and the oranges, the juice was all over the cutting board, so I lost out a lot of juice. And of course, the ones that were a little harder, such as my pears and my apples, they were just like, I had a hard time cutting it, and it took more time than it should have. And eventually, of course, I came to my senses and said, stop, Toya, see, grab you an actual kitchen knife and cut your fruits the way they're supposed to be cut, right? With the right tool. And in that moment, it occurred to me that a lot of us, you know, are living in dysfunction because we are not using things or utilizing things for what they were created for. Let me even take it a step further. It also occurred to me that even in our relationships, some relationships or, or spaces that we've occupied in our lives, we are operating in those spaces and in those relationships in dysfunction because we have not truly taken the moment to identify what those things, relationships or places are meant to be for especially when it comes to serving us or when it comes to relating to us and our purpose here on earth. As I stated earlier in the definition of function, the key thing that stood out to me in those two definitions was something that comes natural, something that you know is intended for a specific purpose, intentionality. Very, very, very critical. And when we even look at the creator of the universe, our Father himself, God himself is a God of intentionality. God himself is a God of order and function. If we go back into the book of Genesis, in the first chapter, um, somewhere around, I believe, verse 26 or 28, it talks about how God says, let's, let's make man in our image. But he didn't just stop there. He talks about why he wanted to make man in his image, right? That man may have dominion over the things of the earth. There was a specific reason why God created man. There was a specific function and then there is still a specific function as to why God created us in his image. That is just one example. When you look at even the animals and the plants and the seeds, it even goes further in verse 28, I believe. The scripture talks about how the plants sprouted up um, from the earth because without even any watering or any kind of vegetation or agriculture, because as of that time, there was no rain, okay? Specific function for a place and time. We fast forward to now, we of course know that water and rain is essential for plants to grow, right? So even beyond even just what something is created for, it's also important for us to be sensitive to the seasons that we are in and how that affects how we, um, function in certain places and time and also how certain relationships are meant to function in our lives. When we as human beings fail to acknowledge or recognize the function of a thin place or even ourselves, this function is inevitable and ultimately this function leads to disaster <laughs> for the lack of words. If we're going to be honest with ourselves, a lot of the um, dysfunctional situations we find ourselves in or a lot of um, things that are traumatic or detrimental to us that we find ourselves in usually falls back into our inability or our decision to not take a moment to identify the function of those things before actually getting acquainted with those things or people. So, with that said, as you begin your new week, I want you to be intentional about identifying the functions of every single thing or every single place or every single role that you're going to be playing. Identify the function of the church that you fellowship at. 
Yes, I said it. Identify the function the, your work, your job is supposed to play in your life. Identify the function your spouse is supposed to play in your life. Identify the function you were supposed to play in society, wherever you find yourself. These things would make your life definitely much easier and it would make putting your life in order much, much, um, yeah, much easier. It would give you the ability to be more disciplined and grounded. It would give you the grace to be able to say no to the wrong things and yes to the right things. A lot of us are struggling with saying no even when we want to say no. <laughs> or a lot of us find ourselves saying yes even when we want to say no simply because we have not taken the time to identify the function of those things or those people. And because we have not, we, we are afraid that we, us saying no might be something detrimental to us, we end up saying yes. Again, that ultimately leads to what? Dysfunction. Take a moment to really be intentional about identifying function in order to eliminate dysfunction in your life. And when you do, do not be afraid to step out of the box of dysfunction and begin to walk towards the journey of having a functional life. Another thing I want to stress on before I close out is that a lot of us have found ourselves operating in dysfunction, not necessarily because we've not identified that it's dysfunctional, but because it's just what we have become acquainted to and it's comfortable and we have chosen to stay there. A lot of us have found ourselves staying in places or staying in boxes that we had no business even stepping into or that we've probably outgrown simply because it is familiar. Familiarity is also the key thing that keeps us in this function. And it's critical that we begin to find a way to get out of that place that we may actually get to a place of being really fulfilled in God, ultimately for God's glory. And that's pretty much the message for this week, guys. As you start off the week, I just hope this inspires somebody to just go out there and win in purpose in God. It's very, very important that we know that every single day, we are getting older. Every single day has to count for something, right? We are now in the month of June. It is very essential that we go forth and continue to push through to the end of 2021. I hope this video blesses you. If it does, do not forget to like it, do not forget to share it, and of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And like I always tell you guys, I may not have all the answers. I may not know it all, but I am glad I know the one that does, and that's Christ Jesus, and you can know him too. Until next time, blessings and love.